During the trial, after I had already testified against OJ, and this is why I absolutely believe him, after I had already testified against OJ, I had already said everything I had to say, we happened to pass each other in the hallway. And OJ came up to me and said, can I talk to you for a minute? And we had a chance to talk to each other. And I told him I'm sorry that I, was, I did not get the opportunity to call him and tell him that I had that stuff. Those few items that belong to him, I told him I'm sorry that I did not take the opportunity to call him because we'd been apart for a long time. We hadn't had a chance to talk for many, many years. And I'd been buying stuff from Mike Gilbert and I wish I had of. And he said, Bruce, I can't tell you how sorry I am. And we've got a saying between us, it is what it is. And he put his hand out, I shook his hand and I said, I forgive you. We all make mistakes. OJ made his. He's been here, and from what I've told, he's been a model inmate. He's been an example to others. During the trial, I recommended that he serve one to three years. That's what I recommended to the DA. And I'm here to say that I've known OJ for a long time. I don't feel that he's a threat to anyone out there. He's a good man. I know that he does a lot for other people. And I feel that nine and a half to 33 years was way too long. And I feel that it's time to give him a second chance. It's time for him to go home to his family, his friends. This is a good man, he made a mistake. And if he called me tomorrow and said, Bruce, I'm getting out, will you pick me up? Juice, I'll be here tomorrow for you. I mean that, buddy.